Many people constantly tell you to grow a thicker skin or to stop being so sensitive. Maybe you've noticed how easily a negative person can completely throw your mood. Maybe you avoid the news or scary movies because it's as though you literally experience the fear of people on screen. If you're like many sensitive or feeling-oriented people, you may have stumbled on the label of empath and immediately felt validated. Could being finely tuned to the emotions of others, slightly introverted, or complex emotionally be not only normal but even a good thing? The world is quickly becoming enamored with what used to be a niche topic. Today, empaths are speaking out, forming support groups, writing books, and sharing experiences online. More and more people are stepping up and claiming this, not to mention enterprising individuals now positioning themselves to offer expensive training courses, healing sessions, and self-help packages to sell to the growing number of people calling themselves empaths. Spend any time researching this topic online, and you may quickly get confused. Some empaths treat their personalities almost as an enviable superpower, while others act as though their abilities are a terrible weakness that means they need to shield from others. Some empaths lump their characteristics with ESP or even psychic powers like predicting the future. Others claim an intense bond with nature. Some frame their experiences in relational terms and point to the perils of getting involved with energy vampires and narcissists who would seek to take advantage of their emotional intelligence and generosity. On the other hand, critics of the entire concept have suggested that the label is pure fiction and one that introverted people with mental health disorders are drawn to. As the conversation around the special type of person we call an empath grows, more and more is seemingly added to the definition. You could be forgiven for asking, what is an empath really? And more importantly, are you one? Let's begin by trimming down to the basics on which everyone can agree. An empath is a person with a heightened capacity for empathy. Rather than merely understanding another person's state of mind on an intellectual level, empaths seem to let more in and can find themselves literally feeling the emotional reality of another person. This is a psychological definition rather than a spiritual or esoteric one, although it's easy to imagine that the lines blur. Many empaths additionally describe themselves as extrasensory and intensely interested in psychic phenomena, spiritual matters, or learning to sense the emotions of even animals or extraterrestrial energies. We can understand empaths as supremely emotionally intelligent in the way that some people are gifted with musical ability or are born with heightened taste buds and become acclaimed chefs. An empath could be seen as more emotionally aware or more sensitive to emotional stimuli than the average person. Like an animal that can see in ultraviolet light or hear super high frequency sounds, an empath seems to inhabit a different world entirely, one dominated by felt experience, i.e. emotion.